The only way to dispel darkness is by introducing light. So, stopping by this morning to help introduce a little light into your morning to encourage you to do the same for someone else. Don't just be a recipient of light, but also be one through which the light can flow through. And let's introduce light into the darkness that's all around. Today we're looking at 1 John chapter uh, 1, verse 9. It says, But if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. If we confess our sins, if we are open, honest, repentant, if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just. Not only is he faithful and just, but he will cleanse us from all wickedness. The way that we handle the times that we fall reveals what we believe about God. The way that we handle our missteps and our mistakes reveal what we believe about God. Here's why I say that. Because if you make a mistake, rather when you make a mistake, if you go to God and you say, God, I am sorry, here's what I've done. And you allow him to forgive you and not only forgive you, but then begin the process of changing the direction that you're going in then you really believe this scripture to be true. But if you don't, then what you will do is you will continually repent and repent and repent and repent and repent as if you have to reach a certain level of self-punishment before you can be forgiven. This scripture makes it very clear that God is not sitting up there holding on to grudges, but he is waiting for us to come to him with true repentance in our heart. And when we do it, he forgives us. Here's something that I heard a while ago, and it is so applicable. We have to get to the point where we're not willing to reach into the blood when Jesus won't even reach into it. How do we say that and why do we say that? Because when we have repented of our sins, when we've asked for forgiveness, and when we have begin that process of making that change, this scripture tells us he is faithful and just. The God that we serve is gracious. The way that the enemy would like us to go through life is to think that we are never forgiven, that his grace is sufficient for everyone else but ourselves, that God is still holding on to a grudge for the mistakes that we've made. But the reality is what this scripture tells us. If we will confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us, and he will cleanse us from all wickedness. Today, I don't know what it is that you've been carrying with you and you've been asking God to forgive you, forgive you, forgive you, and you've been judging it back up, bringing it back up. Here, I wanna turn the light on for you. You don't have to bring that up anymore. You just ask God to forgive you and begin walking in the way that he would have you walk and you were forgiven for your sins. That repentance, it was working the first time you did it. Don't live in a world where you think that God is still angry with you and that you have to continue to repent because if you do that, you will not progress to the places that he wants to take you. God is faithful and just to forgive you. His grace is sufficient. Get your hands out of the blood and stop pulling up stuff that he's already covered with his blood and his righteousness. Take some time to share, comment, post, repost, make your own post. Let's introduce some light into the atmosphere all around us. God bless you. I love you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.